Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna look at how mortgage payment works. Generally, if you're looking to buy a home or a car, you are probably gonna need to borrow money from the bank in the form of a mortgage. And uh, before they tell you how much you can borrow, what your monthly payment rate is, um, you're gonna have to give up a bunch of your personal information. But uh, with this calculator, you can just find it out yourself. So let's get right into it. So once you open this uh, calculator, you're going to see three sections. The input section to put in your mortgage uh, detail. The output showing where your monthly payment is going to. And also the summary section showing every year what your loan outstanding is, principal paid and interest paid. So let's go for this example together. So in the mortgage detail section, let's just say we're borrowing $300,000 at the cost of 2.5% interest rate, and we're gonna pay it off in 25 years. And uh, comes up to a monthly payment of $1,343. Next, we're gonna have the upper section showing on a monthly basis in this case, the first month is July, and uh, the monthly payment is 1,343. Interest payment is $625. Principal payment is $718. By the end of first month, you'll be carrying a balance of $299,282. Since this is a 25 year repayment loan, you're gonna have 301 payments. 301 payments, and by the end of the 301 payments, you have zero balance. So on a year basis, let's just take a case of the fifth year. So what's showing here is on an annual basis, at the fifth year, you'll be carrying a balance of Two hundred and fifty-four thousand a hundred and eighty-six dollars for that fifth year, one year only. In the fifth year, your principal balance is nine thousand and six hundred and twenty-six. Interest paid is six thousand four hundred and eighty-six dollars. Uh, and You can also take a look, compare rates from different providers. So let's just say, change it. Say you're getting a, a rate of say 2.2% from bank A, and then bank B is offering you 3%. Obviously 2.2% is a lower interest rate you probably go with them, but uh, you can see that it's uh, $45 less than the base case, 2.5% interest rate. And in the case of a 3%, you're gonna see that it's gonna be $77 more compared to the 2.5% interest rate case. So how is this useful? We can find out that to find out what's the monthly payment, you only need three inputs. How much you're borrowing, what's the cost of borrowing, and how long you're gonna pay it off. And you can apply it for a home purchase. You can also apply it to a car purchase. So in a car purchase, you're probably gonna need to borrow less. And uh, let's just test it out. Let's just say your car loan is $30,000. And since it's car loan, it's gonna cost you something like say 4%, paying off in five years. Turns out your monthly payment is $544. And suppose you have also two banks offering you a mortgage for the car. So one is offering you say three and a half, and the other one is offering you say 6%, just for example. And you can see that even though there's a big 
change in interest rate, the payment is not that painful, I guess. And uh, I'm going to put the, uh, the download link of this model in the description of the video. And uh, feel free to download it, play around with it, and uh, you can find out by yourself how much of a mortgage that's going to cost you. Oh, one more thing. When you run this data table, make sure you press F9 just in case your Excel is running on the manual mode. So without further ado, have fun.